I'm Vinnie Bagwell, and this is my gift. Working on Marvin Gaye, the name of this piece is What's Going On. It's for the Department of General Services in D.C. The D.C. Department of General Services put out a call for artists for a public artwork to celebrate Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye is from D.C., and of course, uh, for public art commissions, Usually, it's a competition you have to win. Part of the adventure is creating an enlargement. This is six foot five Marvin Gaye, which is a little larger than life. Usually we go a little larger than life because um, when you put a sculpture outdoors, uh, the scale of the space kind of affects the way people perceive it. So it comes off as being smaller. So usually try to make them a little larger than life so they don't disappear in the public realm. Public art has a lot of power. It has, it's, it's a, it has a voice for whatever the subject matter is, it has a voice. Whereas before, those of us in public art knew that, but now municipalities are beginning to realize that, oh, there's really more to it than just putting what we call plop art, where you just plop something there and say, okay, we beautified your community, aren't you happy? It's like, no, now it's like, no, let's do stuff that means something, that reflects the community. And that's a more responsible way of approaching public art. Um, I decided to write a proposal to the city of Yonkers to do Ella Fitzgerald, because I really wanted to try doing a big one. And so, uh, I won, but the, the budget was very small, so I spent the rest of the year leveraging that money, and ultimately uh, the sculpture of Ella Fitzgerald became the first public artwork of a contemporary African-American woman to be funded by municipality in the country, which is kind of a big deal. And so, um, of course, this is before the internet, so how do we find anything before the internet? At any rate, uh, a number of years later, I applied again. Somebody made me aware that there was a call for art for Hofstra, and I won that one, and that was Frederick Douglass. And then after that, um, you know, entered the internet, and so now, of course, you know, you register with your cities nationwide, and people send you information, so it's a lot easier to at least know that something's happening. Then after that, you just have to compete. If you have a passion, kind of like you guys, you know, where you like to make photographs, you like to make videos, it's like, you can turn that into a job. You like to make cupcakes, you can turn that into a job. You know, you like, whatever you really, really love, you could turn it into a job. Hi, I like making artwork. I turned it into a job. Now, that wasn't my first thought, but at some point, you know, when life starts going sideways and you're trying to figure out what to do, how to be, you know, which way to go, it's like, if you're an artist, if you have a talent, an ability, um, you should probably spend more time working on that because it's a direct connection to the universe. Things will open up if you do. I find that you know the more you love what you do, the better off you're gonna be. When my daughter was five, she asked me, um, is there any such thing as princesses? I'm like, yes, there is. Well, how come you don't see him on TV, she says. My daughter is five. I'm thinking, she's five years old, she already peaked Disney. I said, well, just because it's not on TV doesn't mean it doesn't exist yet on Disney. So I decided to make black mermaids, black princesses, black fairies. You know, again, because it, it occurred to me that little girls need to see stuff like that. And so, uh, segue to Black Panther. I'm like, yes, yes, yes. We need to see black people can be anything. We can be superheroes, we can be princesses, we can be doctors, we can be a lot of things. We can be anything. And so again, that's the joy of uh, making art mindfully with, with real love, with real passion, with real care. 
Um, it's not just a livelihood. It's not just a way to pay the bills. You know, um, my, my, my idea is to leave um, a legacy for myself as well as for my people, my culture. And I'm extremely um, delighted that I have the opportunity to do that. Thank you.